one of the concerns um, that we hear, not just from policymakers and potential investors, um, but also those in the sort of global financial sphere as well, is that with higher oil prices, there will be um, a slowdown of the reform process, particularly in Saudi Arabia. Your Excellency, can you assure those investors that when it comes to reforms, there's not going to be, they're not going to be putting the brakes on? This is, I think, a very, very important point. Um, and I could uh, make it a very short answer. We are committed to the reform. This is not about uh, the uh, price of oil. This is about economy that needs to be diversified. We are committed. We have very specific deliverables every year, every quarter that is measured. Uh, and if we have uh, an oil, a higher oil price, I will be happier. Uh, I will have uh, stronger reserves, and, and uh, that will just provide a small coffin for the down cycle. But reform is continuing, uh, and we are determined to make sure that we deliver on time with the targets. And in terms of that security, I want to ask you about that as well, because that's a major concern for private investors. We've seen a knockoff in private investment over the last couple of years from inside the GCC, particularly inside Saudi Arabia. There have been a lot of fears about the direction of the country. Um, and that's reflected, I have to say, in international news media, for example. And that certainly doesn't help the investment case for international investors. How do you address that concern? Because it seems as if every time we have a financial conference or coming up on one, we have another national security issue in Saudi Arabia. How do you address that head on? A few things. I think when um, the whole reform in Saudi Arabia and in the GCC is bringing a lot of hope uh, to, so to the reverse. I think uh, what we are doing is sending the right signal to the region, uh, particularly to countries with a lot of trouble in the region, that if you diversify, if you reform, if you have the right governance, if you really focus on reforming your economy, it will bring hope, it will bring prosperity to your people. And it is actually bringing a lot of hope. We are talking to Iraq, we are talking to uh, uh, extensively to the Yemeni people uh, and others in the region to make sure that we bring stability. Second, in, th in, in relation to security, I think it is it has been proven very well in, in Saudi Arabia and in the GCC that it is one of the safest worldwide. Uh, the fact that we have one terrorist incident uh, uh, in one place in, in Saudi, it is just like having a terrorist incident uh, anywhere in Europe and in, in, in the United States or elsewhere. It, these, these incidents will happen. We are working with the world to make sure that we combat these the financing of terrorism and, and exchange security information. We work very closely with the West and, and the, the, the regional forces to make sure that we intercept and, and fight uh, terrorism and bring security. But if you look at what is happening in the GCC, actually it is a very secure region. I think to a large extent, people will need to let go part of what they see in the media and come and see for themselves. I mean, investors who are actually familiar with the region are investing in the region. As I said earlier, last year we have seen 98% growth on FDI. Mm -hmm. The first quarter of uh, 2019, we have seen 28% growth of FDI. So investors who are visiting, who come and see, they actually feel comfortable investing. They feel comfortable uh, with the uh, environment, with the regulatory environment, with the government commitment of the reform, and the security of, of the region. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.